Dakota, what's going on, Keith? How can I help you? Yes, sir. My name is J.D. Briggs, and I was in there two evenings ago. Uh-huh. And I had a little bit of a problem with one of y'all's watches. Okay. Uh, I got it home, and it was a gift from my son, Raymond. Uh-huh. His 16th birthday. He got home, and his wrist was all green. Huh. But that, no, that ain't the worst of it. Uh-huh. But we tried to scrub it off, and it took us a long time to get it off. Uh-huh. But then later on that night, he said he was feeling real dizzy, and we ended up having to run him over to the emergency room. He got some kind of mercury poisoning. Really? Yes, sir. Hmm. But here's the problem. I got about... Let, hang on just a minute here. All right. I got about $500 worth of doctor bills here. Mm-hmm. And I was just wondering to see if I can come down there and pick up a check today for that, to take care of since it's your dang product's fault. No, nah, you can't come in today and do that. You'd have to talk to the manager first. I ain't going to be much talking here. Look, I'm retired, son. I ain't got no insurance or anything like that. I got these people already on me like wolves. Well, I mean, you'll have to talk to them, and I'll... Can I get your name and number? Well, my name's J.D. Briggs, but let me tell you, I, I figure we can solve this one of two ways. What's that? Well, I can come down there and, and pick up a check for, like I said, $500. Uh -huh. Or I may, I mean, I may have to just come down there and whoop somebody's tail over this. Well... Because I am just a little, I'm, I'm just a little PO'd about this. Well, yeah, I understand. Um, basically, what you're going to do, though, you're going to have to come down here and kick my butt or talk to the manager. How, how big a boy are you? Big enough. I doubt that very seriously. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be on you like Pat Albert on a Twinkie. <laughs> but you going to get it out of your system. All right. Have you ever had any kind of problem like this? Because that's the dangest thing I've ever seen. No. His wrist was all green, hmm. and he said he couldn't. And, and tell you what, last night, he couldn't even pronounce things with the letter R in it. He was getting so bad. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I thought it was a couple of weeks ago, not last night. No, sir, two days ago I bought it for my son Raymond. Uh -huh. And like I said, we saw the green pop up the day before yesterday, and then yesterday we had to rush him to the emergency room. Uh huh. Well, so it's been an event of two days, mm -hmm. and you can imagine how exasperated I am. Uh-huh. But I just, I threw those options out there. I guess which one's it going to be? I guess you're just going to come down here and kick my butt, then. So you got $500 of tail I can whip? Uh, I guess it's going to be my tail, then. Have you ever had your tail whipped before? Nope. Well, you just get ready for a big old country tail whipping. All right. What's your name again? Jack. Yep. Well, there's nothing for me to whoop a man's tail. Mm-hmm. I mean, do y'all sell these kind of fault? Don't y'all check these things? I mean, mercury is dangerous. Never had that problem before. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. Mm-hmm. I tell you what, it's the 4th of July. I'm going to be hotter than a firecracker when I get down there. Me too. I'm going to have to get my pants ready to explode. Huh? Hmm? I don't know anything about that, but I tell you what. No, no, no. <laughs> I go off like an M80 here at you. <laughs> but it ain't funny. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I, I tell you, I guess it's going to be option number two then. All right, I'll see you in a bit. And you tell them, I tell you what, it's the boys from GNC is going to be coming down there after you. Do what? The boys from the Turfland Mall GNC is going to be coming down there after you, all right? Send them away. All right.